Oh, very nice hit confirmed there from the parry. Oh, wow. Wow. What? He parried that perfectly. <laughs> oh, God. He's got such good, uh, got such good reactions from this Elena player. So are you a third strike player as well? Uh, a little bit. Um, I'm mainly a turbo player. That's my main game. Uh, I play Oro. Uh, and, and I do okay. Uh, no, not entirely too competitive, but I know the game. So what's your what's your favorite game right now? Uh, turbo. Turbo. <laughs> Always turbo. I, uh, I got fourth today, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and with Honda, who's like a, not that great of a character. Oh wow, that's good. Yeah. White Gun's actually the guy who knocked me out. Very nice parry from Toronto. That's the thing that's so impressive about third star players. To get those parries, you have to you have to know the attack. And you have to know right. the rhythm of all those individual attacks. Right. Right. And you have to learn it. Well, I guess that's why um, beginners or people who are not familiar with third strike really has a hard time trying to jump on. You know. It's extremely daunting. Yeah. Right. Whereas Street Fighter 4, it's, it's really beginner friendly. Oh, absolutely. Right? Especially with the ultras and the combat ADC. potential, right? Half yeah. the DCs, stuff like that. Oh, nice combo. So basically, Daniel's just working on keeping the same sort of strategy, trying to keep away, mm -hmm. poking to normal. Doing a really good job of uh, countering those uh, dive kicks and dive right. kick pressure. Wow, okay. Activates. Oh, wow. Just knocks him right out of the air. Obviously, but Elena not not that common of a character. Right. Oh wow. White gun going for a lot of activations outside of combo. Usually people will uh, confirm into it and then carry their combo for uh, absolute damage. So it looks like they're playing to five. Okay. It's three oh. Oh, drops it. Picks it back up. Hey, hey, hey. Nice reset. Nice. All right. Well, Icon takes a round. Uh, Steve Nash takes one round. <laughs> Swish. So Steve Nash plays soccer 
basketball, right? Phoenix Suns. Now he plays Street Fighter 4. Yep. Really good. Yep. Adding to his resume. Uh, just is all about supporting the Vancouver community <laughs> right. uh, the best he can in all of its activities. <laughs> oh, wow. He's just giving it to Elena right now. Oh, wow. Look at that. Playing angry. I'm really impressed with Toronto's uh, Daniel Spill. I mean, he's, oh, really, he's really solid right now with Atlanta. Oh, look at that. Oh, like, he predicted the, the low attack and goes into the super. That is absolutely crazy. All right. There we oh, go. Okay. Good mix up. I like that. Steve Nash takes around. Yeah, that's good. So what you, what you kind of know is there, he kind of changed up the, his uh, dive kicks. So it, was, it wasn't going forward, it was kind of just trying to bait out an attack from Elena. Yeah, that was good. The right. last one, uh, making it with, so right, he exactly. could get the right. low attack so, faster than so usual. So he, he kind of realized Elena was, was always trying to poke, trying to do a counter each time. So he's trying to capitalize on that by baiting it out now. Mm -hmm. It's a good development. It looks like White Gun's strategy with the Ganesian is to activate it pretty much ex like right when he gets it and try and build up as many as he can in a round. Right. Uh, as opposed to just, oh, nice red parry there. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> nice hit confirmed. That was absolutely nuts. Red parries, uh, for uh, those of you who don't know, uh, are, are basically just a parry, but one that you do uh, in the middle of blocks. Uh, very risky, has much stricter timing uh, than a regular parry. Uh, but obviously the rewards are, are absolutely phenomenal. Wow. Oh, there it is again. He's so good at that. Right. And that's what I heard about uh, Daniel. Um, people have been telling me that um, Toronto players like to parry. Mm. So they really pra practice their parries quite a bit on that side. So. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're much more uh, defensive orientated uh, right. than here. Well, I don't know if we defense is the right word, but we're more of uh, we rely more with um, our, our supers and our folks rather than, yeah. than trying to parry something, right? So. Like, we, we like to overwhelm our, our opponents. Like yeah, is, absolutely. Right? That's what I've noticed a lot here. Uh, wow. That was a great win by Steve Nash. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Robin Banks, how can you play ST like a? That's <laughs> that's how you lose at ST. <laughs> oh, it looks like Daniel's trying to return the favor. Oh, oh, not quite. Uh, to James 2003, uh, he's mentioning about uh, how it seems as if uh, White Gun, he's really on one match and off of another. Uh, what that might come from is a lot of players uh, are very momentum based. So they, they, they really need uh, to like get the energy from uh, an offensive pressure and just follow it. If they can't get that right away, then sometimes they suffer in a round. Oops. 
same characters. Okay. So this is a uh, game point. So this is match point or no, match, match game, game for, yeah. for, for Toronto. <laughs> Hopefully Wagon can do a reset. Toronto, Toronto beating up on Vancouver. How did Daniel do in AE? He's a much better uh, third strike player than uh, okay, than, than okay. Than Street Fighter Pro player. Right. I know. <laughs> I mean, in her casuals, uh, I was using my Vega against his uh, Dudley, and he's not as offensive like his uh, Elena. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right, so. so this could be um, match point. Mm -hmm. Uh, for Daniel. Oh. Uh, uh, wow. White Gun's gotta watch that stun. Right. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is the confirm. This could be it. Yeah, and That's there it. we go. And there's a the handshake, and the money goes to, to Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Alright, I, I think I'm gonna go. Uh, thanks, Girly Styles, for coming. But, uh, <laughs> oh, no problem, man. <laughs> Ciao, people. All right, have a good night. <laughs> All right, uh, so it looks like we have uh, another money match. How much are you guys money matches? Twenty big dollars. Out of what? First, best of three? Oh, okay. Best of three. So we got Terrence. Uh, he's a Cody player in AE. Uh, going up against Daniel here. Terrence picking Makoto. Uh, Makoto, very good. Uh, some consider around uh, fourth best in the game. Uh, very, very high damage. Uh, some good mix ups. Uh, some really good normals. Okay, with whiffs the command grab. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Terrence playing Ken and Daniel playing Makoto. That's my bad. Oh, he's just really abusing him. Good throw. Here comes the mix up. And that'll be it for this round. Daniel goes into the next round with a full bar of butter. Uh, Ken, of course, going with Super Art 3, uh, as always. He's got one of them stocked up. He's going to be looking for those that, that short short into Super. Good fireball. Nice throw. Uh, Ken has a lot of options out of a throw, so it's a good setup. Oh! Nice. And, oh! And uh, Terrence takes the uh, takes the round there with a kind of a hail mary, but you know what? It worked. Good sweep. Characters taking some, uh, players taking some time to put some meter there. Good throw. Okay, and first game goes to Daniel, uh, and this is just a best out of three, so uh, this will be the last game here. Good poke. Oh, nice parry. Oh, returns the feather. Uh, Daniel's doing a really good job at uh, keeping uh, Terrence just locked into that corner with uh, Makoto has a lot of great pressure tools to do that. Um, 
And a lot of them lead into high damage situations. Oh, there's that throw. I'd like to